look at this. Look at that color. So quite voracious predators. A beautiful six spot tiger beetle. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today I'm looking for a very special kind of insect. One that if it was the size of a dog or a cat would probably regularly prey on human beings. This is a really unique and really beautiful species of insect that is one of my absolute favorites to find. We're in good habitat. Hopefully we can get some and I can show you guys just how impressive these little beasts are. Let's go. Okay, everybody, so we actually found one. Take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at this. A beautiful six spot tiger beetle. Now, these are some of the most ferocious beetles in the animal kingdom. You can take a look at that face right there at the very front. He's got those massive eyes which help him hunt as well as massive razor sharp mandibles to shear and cut into his prey. Now, tiger beetles belong to a larger group of beetles called carabids or predatory ground beetles. So these animals are adept at hunting other invertebrates on the ground. So this is super, super cool. I was hoping we would be able to find one to show you guys. Take a look at that beautiful iridescent green as well. In fact, you could probably take a look through the top of this container. Look at that color. Now this is an example again of structural coloration, which is when the actual composition, oh, you see him jump, oh trying to fly away now they can fly being beetles they have elytra or bony kind of hard wing coverings which open out and then their wings unfurl and allow them to fly so he was trying to get away from us but like i was saying that structural coloration is the result of the way that light reflects off of the actual composition of their exoskeleton so there's no pigment there it's just how light bounces off and comes back into my eye. How cool is that? Now, in terms of length to speed ratio, these tiger beetles can run pretty much faster than any other organism on earth. Um, they are wicked scary. If these things were the size of a bus, um, they would be running at like thousands of miles per hour, which is really scary to think about. Um, they can cover great distances, even only being about a third of an inch to about 0.5 inches. So quite voracious predators. So they use those big eyes, really good eyesight, and that speedy, quick agility to scurry really, really quickly in order to capture and kill and eat their prey. How cool is that? Well, we're gonna let this guy go back to rummaging around, but I'm super glad we were able to find one of these beautiful tiger beetles to show you guys. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Of course, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more super cool videos. Thank you guys for watching and remember to tune in to the next episode of Jack's Little Wildlife. All right, little tiger beetle, here you go. See, he's using those wings to fly off. Quite good flyers as well. And you got a little peek of Isaiah. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support.